freezing candlestick night games. The Giants tried to take advantage of that in their commercials. Legs, medic. I can't feel my legs. Hey, easy, kid, easy. Cold beer. To those valiant few who endure an extra inning night game, this year, once again, the Giants present the Quad de Candlestick. But also this year, the Giants have switched to mostly day games and groundskeepers in Hawaiian shirts and new commercials. This year, Giants fans will experience something new. Sunshine! Yes, it's old-fashioned daytime baseball six days a week at the stick. The 1985 Giants. Real grass, real sunshine, real baseball. We're going to give away muscle shirts. We'll give away uh, suntan lotion. We're going to dress the ground crew in Hawaiian shirts. It, it's, yeah, it's all part of the theme, but I think the real point is, is that uh, what we're trying to get across is day baseball is a great way to come spend the day. And Candlestick Park is a real friendly place during the day, unlike it is at night. You've had cold commercials for night games, hot commercials for day games. What is next? Well, we've promised them every kind of baseball we can think of. One, we've promised them, uh, you know, winter baseball, and now we're promising them summer baseball. And if this doesn't work, we're going to have one alternative, and that's to promise them winning baseball, which is pretty radical, but uh, I think it's worth a try. But day or night at Candlestick, the Giants continue to struggle with the elements. I've discovered that financially I can do better off playing the day games because, uh, I only had to buy one pair of long johns this year and one pair of long wool sleeves, so I found out I could save a lot of money by uh, playing these day games. I like night games. I don't care how cold it is out here. Really? I like playing under the lights. Uh, I think, you know, that's modern baseball, and, you know, I'm a modern baseball player. But the real issue at Candlestick is not day or night games, but any games at all. Will the Giants move out? There's even talk of doming Candlestick. The running joke in San Francisco is putting a dome on Candlestick is like putting lipstick on a pig. In fact, the Giants dislike the idea of a dome candlestick so much, they've even made a funny commercial about that. My guest is Don Doofus of the architectural firm of Doofus and Dorquet. Uh, Mike, as you can see, our firm has developed a boldly innovative approach toward shielding Candlestick Park from the cold night winds here. Now, the Doofus dome is retractable. And as you can see, there's kind of a hinge arrangement here, Mike. Mm -hmm. I see it's a multi-use facility. Yes, there's a playing field as well as the basketball arena and the concert hall here. And for the occasional daytime baseball game, the dome is supported in its open position by a massive four-pronged structural member. Sort of a fork shape. It is a fork shape, yes. You want a dome? No, I want uh, 45 to 48,000 seat stadium with good weather, good parking, good access. So you don't want a dome, you want to stay in the area, and should the A's move to Denver or somewhere else, you wouldn't mind moving into the Oakland Coliseum? That could be a possibility, but I, you know, I don't want to hurt the people in San Jose or San Mateo or Redwood City because they have worked hard and we are pursuing our negotiations with them. So in the meantime, Giants fans continue loyal. They love their Giants, and they love Candlestick. You know, the thing is that we grew up with Candlestick being the way it is, and as somebody said it, maybe a dump, but it's our dump. You know, this is the, what we're used to for sports. And so the Giants may still be in last place in the National League West, but they're in first place in their fans' hearts and in their commercials. Len Berman at Candlestick.